Hey y'all, welcome back to my channel. It's Jetty Renee here. And in today's video, I'm going to be telling y'all the difference between these two type of labels that I got both off Amazon. And I'm going to tell you where you can get them, how to use them, or like print off your design on them because they are labels. And which one, in my opinion, is better. Don't forget to give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it and subscribe for more business content because I love making these videos and don't forget because you want to join the family. So yeah, without further ado, let's get right into the video. So the first labels that I'm going to talk about are the Avery labels and I'll have these linked down below. So the Avery labels are pre-cut labels. Let me show you, as you can see, you just print and put your design on them and then print it out and then you just peel off the sticker. So these labels are very handy, especially if you're a beginner, um, if you're feeling on edge about having like straight lines or if you're making a label that has a funky design, like it's in a different shape, for example, like a circle or an oval, you know, or a star or something. These labels are going to be great for that, specifically because you don't have to cut them out. They're already cut. It's, it's just literally a sticker that you just peel off, put the design on them, and peel off. The next great thing that I like about these labels are you can get these off Amazon or you can get them at Office Depot, um, Walmart as well. I don't know if Target has them. Target may have them, but they're very local. You can get these like right at the store. Um, and even off Amazon, most of the time they have free one day shipping on these labels. So they're very accessible. That's another thing that I like about these labels. Also is Avery has many different shapes and designs for their labels. So like I said, you can get a star, an oval, a circle, a square, a rectangle all these different shapes and size and it's already in their sticker form so you can just simply peel it off. The cons that I don't like about these, it's very hard, well not very hard but sometimes it can be tricky with the aligning and let me show you what I mean. So you see how half of this side, excuse my nails y'all, so you see how half on the this side right here is cut off but there's more on this side that's because of the lining and the way you put it in the printer so you have to be very careful with how you put the label in into the uh, the place where you put the paper for your printer so that way it comes out in the correct design because you don't want too much on this side too much on that side but however on Avery it'll show you and you can see but it's also going to depend on how you put the paper in the printer and if your uh, alignment on your printer is good or not. So that's one con and usually I can't ever get it right. So I always have to make my label bigger on the computer so that way it prints out and I make sure everything's on the sticker when it's printed out. Another con I don't like about these labels are I have different products. So I have different jars. Some of them are 6 ounces, 8 ounces, 4 ounces. Um, I even have my little body shimmer bottles. These are a different size from these and then from these and then these. So with that being said, I can't buy the same type of sticker for each container. So I have to do different sizes and everything like that, which is okay but it's going to require me to spend a lot more money on these and that's going to be a pro on the other stickers yeah if i have different if you have different size containers you're gonna have to buy different um sizes for the avery labels that's kind of a con but i mean not really it's just i don't know it was just a con for me so but that's pretty much it for the cons is the alignment of the paper i just can't ever get it right which you may be able to get it right but just for me it's a con and then not being able to use it like the same sticker on different containers now let's get into the other labels so these labels the reason why i love these labels you remember our last con about the Avery labels? So these labels are great. For one, this is a label. It's a blank, huge sticker. I can only, I can just buy these labels, 
like this whole pack i think it comes with tw it comes with 25 sheets it's waterproof and everything just like the av labels and i can use these sheets these blank sheets to make designs on all of my containers so i can use this one sheet for my eight ounce jars another sheet for my six ounce bottles one for my body shimmer bottles however that also comes with the con you're gonna have to cut this out on your own which you know it's fine i have this little straight cutter that helps me out a ton and i'll also make a video showing y'all how to cut using the straight cutter so that way you can get it exactly because even sometimes if you use a straight cutter it can still be kind of crooked so and you don't want any white showing on your labels that's the con that comes with that pro is that you have to be careful when you're cutting it because if you have too much white showing it's not going to look good or if it's not all even it's not going to look good and i see a lot of people have this problem so definitely going to make a video showing y'all how to do that because Honestly and personally, I would highly recommend these. You can use it different ways, you know. Many you can make one one set of labels on this and then the other one on, you know, so you don't have to keep buying all different types of labels. And I can't remember how much this was, but I'll have this link down below on Amazon. They also come with a glossy and a matte. So, um, I prefer the glossy just because I like the way it kind of looks uh, very sleek. The matte, um, I didn't like it. It kind of gave too much ashy, but that's matte. So, another con about these. Well, I don't know if I can really say this is a con, but another thing about these is I've only been seeing these on Amazon. However, Amazon does have that fast free day shipping. Actually, I ordered these um, on the day that I was making my product, and I realized like I had ran out. So, I had ordered on Amazon, and it was here the same day. So... Usually these have that free one day shipping or get it today if you spend $25 type deal. So that's really pretty good. It's just not as accessible as the Avery labels where you can go find them in the store. But it is cheaper. So Jada, which one would you go with the most? I'll tell you. So me personally, I'm going to stick with the vinyl sticker paper. I don't know how to pronounce that word. Joeza. English is my first language and my only language. But I don't know how to pronounce that word. So I definitely go with the vinyl sticker paper. Way better. It's still durable, water resistant. Um, it is quick drying. And it is, the stick on it is good. Like the adhesion, when you stick it to the jar, it's still good. Like it's still great. Also, one thing about these and the, the adhesion from these vinyl sticker paper and the Avery labels is I took my labels, the Avery labels off my jar because I probably did something wrong and tried to put them on a different container. It wouldn't, it wouldn't work. Like it just peeled off and it wouldn't work. But these, it, it take a little tug, but it comes off all together in one piece and I can put it on a different container. So I, I highly recommend these there I mean I would go with these that's that's all I can say and it works with inkjet printers I do believe they have it for the um, the other types of printers so but I'll have these linked down on Amazon both of these labels so that way you can get whichever one you want and you can decide yourself, but me personally, I'm definitely going to stick with the vinyl sticker paper. And it's cheaper, and it's easy for me to work with, especially on the computer and with my printer. So, that's all for this video. I hope y'all found this video very informative, educational, and helpful. If you did, give me a thumbs up. And I'll be sure to make that video for sure for y'all on how to um, cut out the labels on the vinyl sticker paper because I don't want y'all to have the white showing on your jars <laughs> at all, okay? <laughs> so, yeah, don't forget to subscribe to see more content like this and I'll see y'all next time in the next video. Bye.